Uh, so, welcome to uh, this lecture. We want to continue with um, an example of polynomial equations with real coefficients. Okay? So, here is one. It says that 1 root of this polynomial, right, is 1 minus 2i. You want to find the other roots. Okay? Since it's cubic, we expect to have three roots. We have one of them, how do we get the other two? So, that is basically what this, um, this question is about. You know? And so, once from our previous, uh, from the previous theorem, we know that since, well, let's do this. Let the polynomial P of Z be equal to this. 2Z to the power 3, 5Z squared, 4Z minus 5. Okay, it's a polynomial. Uh, if this is a root, and apply this in the here, it means that B of like 1 minus 2i, this has to be 0. That's what I mean by this is a root. Now, if this is a root, then since 1 minus 2i is a root, from the previous theorem, we also know that 1 plus 2i must also be a root, right? This must also be a root. Good. So, we are left to find the uh, one other root. How do we get that? Now, remember that if I have um, for real numbers, if x is equal to 1, x is equal to um, negative 1, and x is equal to less than 2, if these are three roots of a cubic polynomial, right? Then we know that x minus 1 here is a factor. Uh, if I multiply by x plus 1, here is another factor x minus 2, so this is my polynomial, right? For real, for real numbers. If these are roots, okay, then that's polynomial goes to zero. Okay? So, if I have two of the roots, then I have two of these factors. I can multiply this out, and I'll take P of x, right? The polynomial which I know. If I divide by these two guys, right? x plus 1, I'll get this other factor. Okay? We are assuming we don't know this. If I don't know this, I can take this, divide by these two that I know, if I divide by that, whatever I get will give me the other factor, from which I can get the other roots. So that's the idea. So we know two of the roots, which means that um, since we know two of the roots, we can basically go through that process it means I can take z minus 1 minus 2i. I can multiply these two out. Take z minus, I have 1 plus 2i, right? If I multiply them, I'm going to have, I have z squared. I have negative z minus 2i, z. Take this and this, minus z plus 2i z this and that give me plus I have 1 minus 2i 1 plus 2i right what does this give me I'm going to have z squared okay let's see I have minus 2z this cancels out that then we can expand this this is a 1 okay this and this cancels out, so I'm basically going to have 1. If I multiply this, I'm going to have plus 4, right? So this is equal to z squared minus 2z plus 5. So from two of the roots, I get this polynomial. So I can take this, I take this polynomial that we know, I divide by this, and that will give me the other factor from which I can get the other roots. So to get the last root of the polynomial, I'm going to do a division. I'll do a long division. I'll take this 2z to the power 3 minus 5z squared plus 12z minus 5. I'm going to divide. Um, so let me get rid of what is up here. I'm going to divide by this guy, z squared, 
minus 2z plus 5. Okay? So once I divide that, whatever I get will be the third factor for the polynomial from which I can compute um, the other root, right? So do a long division, whatever you know how to do it. So this goes in here, we're going to have 2z. This gives me 2z cubed. I have negative 4, z squared. I have plus 10z, right? Oh, that's the z here, I think, right? This, this has been called z. Uh, let me check, make sure it's correct. It's plus 12z, yes, minus 5, okay? So you have, you have this, which you can subtract. This cancels out. This gives me a negative z squared plus 2z minus 5. Then take z into here, you have negative 1, right? This and this is negative z squared. This and this gives me plus 2z. This and this gives me negative 5. So basically, the cancel out. 0, 0, 0, right? So when I divide it, I get this factor, which is a third one, so that this implies, this implies that 2z minus 1 is equal to 0, give me the other roots, so that z is equal to 1 over 2 is the third root. Okay? So the roots are 3. So we have the roots of the polynomial. All right? So the roots of the polynomial are this. The roots are I have one minus two i, one plus two i. I get this for free, right? And then the other root is one over two. Yes. So these are the three, um, the three roots of the complex number. The complex polynomial, I should say. Okay? So, in the, in the next lecture, we're going to start looking at um, those are the locus of points for um, complex numbers. Okay? So, I'll see you in the next, the next lecture.